over 18 years, Dr. Casciotti and his team have been providing orthodontics and serving the community in Grant County. Patients from Moses Lake to Wilson Creek have visited Dr. Casciotti and have beautiful smiles to show for it. Visit them on the web at casciotti.com or call 766-2833 and schedule your free consultation. Ask about the different payment plans. Orthodontics does more than make a pretty smile. It creates a healthier you. I'm Cody Johnson with uh, Columbia Basin Herald TV. With me here today is the fishing magician, Dave Graybill. Dave, thank you so much for coming in. Cody, it's good to see you. Now, um, one of the first things I want you to talk about is this Kids Fishing Derby. and It's coming up here April 16th. That's right. And I understand this is your third year organizing this thing. It's just been a tremendous experience, Cody. I, I can't say enough about the Moses Lake Irrigation and Rehabilitation District and Julie Smith, my partner over there, grabbed this, just took the ball and ran with it. They've done a terrific partner, uh, along with Safe, uh, excuse me, along with Pepsi as a major sponsor for the event. It's just a great opportunity for kids and families to get out, get excited about fishing, and actually get to catch some fish here That's at right. Conley Park. Now, Pepsi. Not only are they sponsoring this, but they're donating drinks and... That's and right. Yeah, thanks to Pepsi, no one's going to be thirsty <laughs> on Saturday the 16th. And also thanks to a wide range of local sponsors, the kids aren't going to go hungry either. We have hot dogs. Oh boy, do we have hot dogs <laughs> and chips and all that kind of great stuff. And I can't help but really thank all the local sponsors that contributed to make this a very special day for the kids. Now, let's let's go over the format of how how this works just a little bit. Um, you, you said last year you had four hundred yes. so kids. Yes, I mean, and, and it's important that you register. And right. registrations are found in locations both in Moses Lake and Afreda. Listen to your local radio stations, mm -hmm. and you'll hear them mentioned. Also. Columbia Basin Herald stepped up this year and is providing some advertising. So look at your Columbia Basin Herald because a registration form will be available through the paper as well. Get those filled out and get them to the Moses Lake Irrigation and Rehabilitation District Office. Everybody needs to register and that's mainly so we know how many people to expect so we can take the best care possible with your kids. Right. And you have to, what they do, you were explaining, they break it up into sessions. That's right. So that you don't end up with a <laughs> Just big, a huge mob. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've all been to those, haven't yeah, we, I, Cody? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so we want to make sure that we have groups of a reasonable size that go down to the launch basin at Conley Park. And then we spread everybody out, and there will be people to help. Now, families need to bring their own fishing gear but we'll have people there that can help and we'll also provide the bait for that day. And we'll make sure the kids get the best possible opportunity to catch some fish, get them weighed, and get them cleaned. And there'll be a first, second, and third place prize awarded for each session. Each session, all right. Yeah. And we've got some great prizes. We have getaways to some nice resorts like Tiffany's Resort in Republic wow. is providing a nice uh, Walmart gift certificate for $75. We have a nice uh, resort in Conconelli that's giving uh -huh. a lucky family two nights lodging Oof. there. And we also have another uh, hotel in Pateras that's offering an overnight stay. Wow. So those are some of the prizes. And then, of course, there'll be fishing rods and tackle boxes and things like that provided by Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee. For the event oh, so it's just gonna be a lot of fun and of course we have it's important to notice note too that when the kids enter the, the uh, park after they've been registered and signed in when they make their way down the hill they'll be able to get some information on boating safety uh, knot tying we're going to show everybody oh. how to tie a basic clinch knot so after this event they'll know what to do themselves oh, when they get terrific. out in the field 
and also some boating safety tips and, and rescue. I know that the local rescue people come out and uh, show people how they do that. There'll be some activities like fish painting, uh, casting contests. So there's a lot of things that the kids can do aside from the opportunity to right. catch some fish on that day. Right. Yeah, no, I heard that there's some, you're going to put some big fish in there too. There will be some nice sized fish in there. <laughs> I want to thank uh, the Department of Fish and Wildlife for providing us some fish for the event. And also, the Irrigation District has purchased fish. So enough fish that we know that kids have a great opportunity of coming away with some whoppers. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yes. I've, I've got uh, um, three young kids that we're going to oh, get some Oh boy, I tell this. you, this is something I look forward to every year. and. Uh, when you get your registration form, be sure and look on the back. There's a good list of all of our area sponsors there. And uh, make sure you check that out. And when you're visiting their locations, be sure and thank them for their support. Now, also, I want to mention that some of these registration points, if you live in Afreda, you can go to the Chucker Hills, Texaco, or the North End Shell to find a registration form. Now, in Moses Lake proper, Registration forms are at the Dairy Queen, at Lakes Market, and then also at the Airway Heights Deli. Those are popular, easy to find yeah. locations, whether you're in town or on the outskirts. The, those are places you'll find the registration forms. And as I mentioned earlier, look for a registration form in your copy of the Columbia Basin Herald. Yes. And uh, we'll put all these locations on your screen here as soon as we're done uh, talking with Dave. That's great. So, and of course, the Columbia Basin Herald will be down there. We'll do a short uh, live broadcast. Oh, fun! Uh, for the event, so you get to, kids will get to see themselves on TV oh, catching big terrific. fish. That's yeah. terrific. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, Dave, before I let you go, um, I wanted to uh, have you help me explain to our uh, Northwest Hook and Bullet fans mm -hmm. about this new thing that we're doing this year. Um, it's uh, like sort of a different twist on a blog. So, <laughs> no. Well, once Cody got involved here, by the way, I want to mention, Cody and I go way back. Oh, yes. We have been friends for years. Yes. <laughs> and we both had websites on fishing in Washington State. And we both shared a lot of information and had a lot of fun developing our websites at the time. Now, Cody, also, I should mention, the hook and bullet is changing dramatically, it too. Is. yeah. And that's going to be a place to look on the web for current, much more current information and information from me about what I do here in Central Washington and keeping track of me. But the most exciting new development is this enhanced blog yes. that Cody's talking about because it's not only, I plan to make this a very active site. This blog, I'm going to be communicating with the people that follow that blog on a very regular basis, not once a week or once a month. This is going to be much more frequency. You, you, with, you launch your boat and you tell people where you're, where you're at and <laughs> and there's the fish. With Maybe the, a couple pictures. Absolutely. With the new technology, I'm able to immediately send photographs while yeah. I'm actually out fishing. I'll send video clips when I'm actually out fishing. So I can't tell any fish stories anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The evidence That's is right. going to be there. And I can't <laughs> tell you how excited I am about increasing the frequency yeah. of what I share with anglers here in Central Washington about what I do. And this blog is going to be the answer to that. The other thing that's fun about it, not only can I communicate with the blog from anywhere in the field, as long as I have cell phone contact, it also is available through different ways, through the yeah. hook and bullet. You can find it on the Columbia Basin site, oh. links to that. Uh, you'll be able to get to it through my site, through Facebook, oh, yep. our Facebook pages, all of those ways you'll be able to access that blog. So this is something that Cody and I have been working on for a while and it's going to be ready here pretty soon. Yes. And it's going to give us a, a legitimate excuse to go fishing. That's right. <laughs> it's business. <laughs> work, work, work. That's right. I've got to go out and do my job and 
do an even better job of sharing what I learn in the field with the listeners and viewers and particularly the blog visitors through the Columbia Basin Herald and the Hook and Bullet. Yep. It's going to be super. Very Can't exciting. wait. Can't Very wait. Very excited. <laughs> Dave, thank you so much. Cody, it's good to see you. I'm wonderful partnership here with Columbia Basin Herald. I want to thank you for your help with the kids event this year and also looking forward to much better coverage of the tremendous fishing opportunities here in central Washington through the Hook and Bullet website and also the new blog. Yes. Don't forget, Saturday, April 16th is the Kids uh, Fishing Derby. Uh, and like uh, Dave was saying, get your registration forms in early. Don't want to miss out on that. It's going to be a great time. Look forward to seeing you there.